Hey, so sitting here watching NFL training camps on the NFL Network and and um, thinking about how much I hated training camp. Nine training camps I went through, hated them all. Uh, I was always in shape, I was always ready, but I still didn't like them. You know, you, you train all off season and you can be in great shape, but it's hard to really simulate training camp when you're training on your own. And um, the first day you go into camp, you are at your best. You feel your best. You're as healthy as you're going to be all season. Because after that, it's aches and pains and strains. And you're dealing with all kind of, you know, physical challenges the rest of the season. And and for me as a wide receiver, you know, I've run a lot of routes in, you know, prep for training camp. But still, you run more during camp. And my hamstrings would always get so sore in my back so sore, all my leg muscles, even just adapting to your helmet, uh, your pads, catching a lot of balls, your hands get sore. And every day you wake up, you're like so sore and you're wondering like, how am I going to be able to warm up to be able to practice? But you figure it out and you do it anyway, you know. Um, and then during camp, you're so exhausted in between practices. You're like, do I, do I take a nap at lunchtime or not, because if I do, I'm going to fall in this deep, deep sleep, and I might wake up late, and, you know, the curfew, that la those last meetings at night, you're exhausted, you're trying to stay awake, and, and that's really, I think, the biggest challenge is the mental part, the emotional part, trying to be on top of your game when you're physically, you know, you're dealing with some challenges, but mentally, you got to be sharp, you got to perform. It's like, it's like a job interview every year. It really is. And um, and it depends on what stage you are in your career. And that, you know, I should make a video on that, explain that a little bit more in detail. But here's my question, though. I'm watching these practices, and do these guys even wear pads at all today? They're not, never in pads. And um, I know the collective bargaining agreement has made some changes, you know, where they can't have two full practices in a, in a row. But when I came in 88, we were doing five weeks of camp, four weeks were doubles, full pads, a lot of contact. And then it came down, you know, it was like maybe three weeks. And I think the last couple of years, it was like two weeks. And when I was in KC, Marty Schottenheimer still had us doing the Oklahoma drill. So there was still a lot of contact, you know. So anyway, so maybe today I might like the way training camp is. <laughs> Because um, it's less contact. So, But anyway, I got to tell you this story. I'll shoot it on the next video.